Hi. Hi. Welcome back. I'm Nicole. I'm Betty. And we're talking about Christmas. We are. Happy holidays. Yes. <laughs> They're jingle jolly balls. Mm, yummy. We've mm -hmm. got our, it's like a Christmas margarita with mm -hmm. some tequila, Grand Marnier, cranberry juice, and it's delicious. It is. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's a nice, pretty Christmas color. I know. I was thinking the <clears throat> Widow Jane was really good, but I kind of really like this. Yeah. Tequila sometimes can be a little sharp for me, like a little strong, but this Anejo one, it's mm -hmm. it goes down. It's really smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if it's aged a little bit longer, mm -hmm. it works well for me. Good choice. Yeah, thanks. So we're going to talk about Christmas. Okay. And Christmas is, you know, it's kind of a big deal in America, right? Yeah. Like we go all the way the fuck out for Christmas. We do. And Christmas technically is supposed to be the celebration of the birth of Christ, mm -hmm. right? Like that's kind of where... That's kind of how I've always know, like yeah. considered it. Right. It's Christmas, Christ mass, like mm -hmm. that's kind of where all of it came from. Mm -hmm. But... Surprisingly, Jesus Christ was not born in December. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was kind of curious, like, where, well, like, how did we get here to like Christmas trees and decorations and gifts and all that stuff? It's kind of spun out of control, I it feel is like. It is way out because of control. Because how does it go from the birth of Jesus to Santa Claus, right? To the reindeer, to the snowman, to right. Krampus? <laughs> <laughs> That's that one's on you. <laughs> to jingle jolly balls, I right? Mean. Yeah, it's it's crazy. So I did a little research. Um, okay. If you go to the History Channel website, mm -hmm. they have so much information, and everyone's going to have their own story and their own like. This is why we do certain things. But mm -hmm. so some of the things that I found out, the reason why the Christians picked December twenty fifth was because it kind of went around the winter solstice. Like that's when a lot of celebrations happened, mm -hmm. um, and in, in more of the Middle Ages. It was more of a Mardi Gras type time because they had to slaughter all their calves. They didn't want to feed them through the winter. So they had these big celebrations mm -hmm. where they would celebrate and eat all their food and just and party party, and then hibernate through the winter and then come out in the spring, <laughs> <laughs> which sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, so when the Christians picked that day, it kind of went around the winter solstice, not the actual birth of Christ. So Christmas in America wasn't really widely accepted until about the 19th century. So it's still fairly new. new. Yeah. Um, and when it came to America, initially it just wasn't really well received because it was more of a like holiday celebration versus just celebrating the birth of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, Americans do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. <laughs> and then they started adding some of these like pagan celebrations and mm -hmm. the gifts and the trees. Um, Cause that's pagan, right? It is. Yeah. The trees and the gifts. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. so, and I found out too, that Christmas trees were brought over by the Germans. The oh. Germans were the ones who had the lighted candles on the trees and evergreens were thought to be somewhat like magical because really? they stayed green all year round oh, and cool. through the winter. They actually thought that if you like hung up boughs and stuff that it would keep away witches and ghosts and oh. evil spirits. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a witch, so it doesn't matter. It's not working. My tree <laughs> I'm not is a not witch, working. I'm just <laughs> It doesn't work, Germans. Um, but isn't that funny how they said, keep away witches? Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? That's so stupid. Just, it really was just women having their own opinions and thoughts at that time. Yeah. She's a witch. How dare they? she doesn't conform. <sighs> stupid bitches. <laughs> Is that where they got bitches from? Witches? Someone just said it wrong one day? Maybe. <laughs> we need to Google that and see where the word bitch came from. Because that's what they call female dogs, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where it came from. But why do they call female dogs bitches? Because they act like bitches. <laughs> You've seen Jelly Bean. <laughs> AKA Cookie. I for the longest time I called her dog Cookie because I thought I don't know why I thought her name was Cookie. You would always say stuff like "Oh, just like Cookie," and I thought you were talking about your vagina, <laughs> <laughs> so I never corrected you. <laughs> Cookie is such a bitch. <laughs> Cookie's hungry today. <laughs> Is that, is that why you used to look at me all weird? I did. I, I was like, it? why? Right now, are you talking about that? <laughs> and her name is Jelly Bean. Her name is Jelly Bean. I, it's ingrained in me now. I have an issue. Obviously, you know, lemon and limes, I had a huge issue with getting the names right. Yeah, I could understand that a little. Not the cookie jelly bean thing. 
It's okay. She just looks like a cookie to me. She's <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> cute. <laughs> I just want to eat her. <laughs> you can't eat my dog. <laughs> So the other um, Christmassy thing is Santa, right? Okay. What does that have to do with Jesus Christ? I don't know. And why is he always such a big, jolly Santa? I know do, why. Does society just gravitate towards like that little look with the cheeks and the coats? Big fat men mm-hmm. with beards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So the original Santa Claus or Saint Nicholas um, Mm -hmm. was actually in 280 AD, so even before Christ. Mm -hmm. It was a missionary who came into some money and he would go and spread his wealth to the poor people. And so that like, concept, I think, came over time where, like, you know, you spread your wealth to other people. Mm-hmm. The first time we got a vision of Santa Claus or a picture of what he would look like um, was in the 1800s that poem, The Night Before Christmas. Oh, so, the book. Yeah. So someone wrote that story. Um, and then I think like 10, 20, 30 years later, mm-hmm. um, a, a cartoonist illustrated what he would look like. And for some reason that stuck. Mm. Yeah. I will say he is very non-threatening looking. He, yeah. He's a very just like, I wouldn't be scared. Like, you know, sometimes you think of men, you know, and you don't think of like, in a red suit with fur and little pink yeah. cheeks. Let's go sit on his lap and tell him what you want. <laughs> Let's go sit on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought of that Why one? did you even go there, Nicole? Because <laughs> you were going to go there. <laughs> but they make him very welcoming. Right. Jolly, mm-hmm. you know. He's real fat, so he can't chase after you. Yeah, and it's very, like, I wouldn't feel like it was perverted if I sat on his lap or anything. Mm-hmm. Could be. Some Not of, that Santa. Some if of them all Santas, I would be a little worried about lap sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Just putting that one out there. <laughs> um, so then, did he really take um, like a description of what the guy looked like mm-hmm. to make his picture? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm-hmm. in the night before Christmas, it's like, you know, uh, are you going to make me think right now? Like, a laugh like a bowl full of jelly. His mm-hmm. cheeks were rosy. He had a pipe. So, mm-hmm. like, some of that description was in there. Do you think he had a pipe because he was smoking some weed? Probably. Yeah. But who knows so back too. then? I mean, they would smoke, like, whatever they wanted to. Mm-hmm. They did drugs like crazy. Yeah, and it wasn't a d- big deal. Mm-mm. Yeah, no. You don't see mall Santa smoking, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they do. They <laughs> little... smell like it. Believe me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So did you, um, did you tell your kids about, like, did you do Santa with your kids? I did. Okay. Um, and honestly, it took them a long time to figure it out. Cause I, I always loved that I have two boys that my boys, even though they were boys were always very like they kept that spirit and mm-hmm. still to this day, I feel like they secretly want to think that there is a Santa. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, and I never, we weren't really around too much family cause I don't have any family here in Arizona and, um, neither, you know, does Brian. So it's just yeah. us. So mm-hmm. we were able to kind of contain it where it wasn't like their cousins telling them right. there is no Santa <laughs> sort yeah. of thing. It was, ha- has always just been very simple and just mm-hmm. us. So I think they really thought for the longest time that there was a Santa yeah how old do you think you were before you figured it out um I want to say I was maybe about 10 and it was because my cousin said fucking cousins yeah Mm. and I still didn't want to believe yeah it kind of takes away from the magic of Mm -hmm. but it's funny that we're like we're all as a society we're okay with lying to our kids right why do we do that you know I think maybe part of it is kind of like, you know how they say there's those little white lies? Yeah. I think part of it is that we want to keep that magic going for the kids. Yeah. You know, we want them to think that there is something special and different about, you know, Christmas. Right. It's not just, you know, presents under the tree, like Santa brought you something. Yeah. 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 My daughter believes in fairies and she thinks there's a fairy for everything. And so she will write letters to the fairies, and then I have to write back. And there was, like, a different colored 
uh, candy cane on the tree. And she's yeah. like, where did this come from? I'm like, oh, I don't know. Honey, someone brought it or whatever. And she's like, mm-hmm. I'm going to write the fairies. <laughs> I'm going to see knows. the fairies put this you don't the tree. Know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm always writing back to the fairies. That's awesome. Yeah, they're into the magical stuff. Mm-hmm. It's cute. I think it is cute. You want to keep that imagination and spirit going. Because I feel like sometimes as adults... People fucking lose that, you know? Yeah. They just lose the just the imagination and the energy and mm-hmm. like just that creativity. They just get so stuck and worn down and between cynical. the eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. I think definitely having I mean, my kids are younger now, so it's all about mm-hmm. doing fun stuff constantly and they're just jacked up and I'm mm-hmm. exhausted, but it's like that makes it more fun. I miss those days. Yeah. I really loved those days with my boys. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're so much older now. Um, and I still try to do little things like I told them, you know, just actually last week, I'm like, So you're gonna write a letter to Santa? <laughs> and they just kinda looked at me and they're like, Sure, mom. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I am very open with them so you know we started just talking about it but Mm -hmm. I mean I miss that yeah you know I miss those little days where they were so excited to wake up and run downstairs and bright and early put their little Christmas jammies on and yeah you shouldn't still make them do that you should set an alarm in the room (laughs) lay out some jammies the they the all have tail. like facial hair and <laughs> body odor. <laughs> I don't think that that would really work out. They would barely fit into oh, it because yeah. they're, I mean, they're big boys, you right. know, they're like built, you know, they want to be bodybuilders and, oh you gosh. know, they, I don't think they could fit into those jammies anymore. I should make them some. <laughs> Uh, what so was then, your what was your favorite Christmas? Like, did you have a favorite Christmas gift that you got, like that you remember? Yes, um, and I wish I still had it. I got this little brown teddy bear that I would carry everywhere with me, Aww. and he like wore out. His little legs were falling apart, Aww. and it was just a teddy bear. It was so simple. I never really got like extravagant gifts for Christmas. Um, like one year, I got socks and. Um, just shirts and things like that, like just clothes. It wasn't like it was ever really fancy. Cause right. I look at, and I, I look at what my kids get now, you know, iPads, oh, iPhones, know. like it's Video so games. fancy, yeah. so expensive, but I was just, what I got probably because my parents obviously didn't make that much money. It was sure. just like, just opening the present, I think was the excitement for me. But one year I got this really cute little bear. He kind of looked like a koala. Oh. He was brown, and he had the little fluffy, like, almost like koala ears. This is where your obsession started. (laughs) (laughs) And I used to carry him everywhere with me. And he was falling apart, and I think that my mom secretly took him away from me because he was just so nasty. Yeah. Because he I would take Raggedy. him everywhere and she was like, You need to leave him at home. You can't take him any you know, like she I think she was a little embarrassed that I was dragging around this little nasty bear everywhere. Right. With me. Had lice all over it. <laughs> <laughs> its eye was falling off. <laughs> oh, that's sweet though. Yeah. You loved it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's but otherwise, I always wanted Barbie stuff. Yeah. I what about you? Um, my favorite was a uh, My Little Pony castle. It was like mm. a little castle, and it had the little ponies set all mm. up on it, and I can still see it to this day Aww. on like that end table in my little that's house in Detroit. So cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was that's fun. awesome. They were so pretty. I know. I always remember like my Barbies. I loved the little heels. I was obsessed with the heels and the earrings and I always fucking lost them. Oh, it's, you can't keep them. They're (laughs) everywhere. They are all over my house. I find them in couch cushions. I find them in like pockets. I find them everywhere. Mm -hmm. I know. You just have to get a whole big stash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love Barbies. Although I will say, I think, I mean, I think it's changed now, but I wish I would have had a brown Barbie. All my Barbies were always white. <laughs> yeah, white, blonde, blue eyes. Mm-hmm. The Barbies yeah. now are amazing. Really? Yeah, I get my daughter mm-hmm. like a different color mm-hmm. and they have like the chubby Barbies now and mm-hmm. I love it. It's so much better. Don't you wish though? I feel like that they should have just like look at your demographic too. Yeah. There is little girls with 
every from every race. Why would you just? Yeah, white men. You think so? <laughs> oh yeah, I know so. <laughs> I mean, who ran Mattel? I'm sure it was some oh, old yeah. white dude, and he wanted some sexy looking dolls, and so mm-hmm. they were all skinny blondes with big tits. The closest one I love Snow White is because she had black hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably the only princess at the time that had dark mm-hmm. hair. They yeah, all... when we were growing up, mm-hmm. that was it. Just Cinderella, Snow White. Aurora. Yeah, and then you started getting Ariel, and then mm-hmm. Belle had brown hair. She did, but that was like later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. much later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas. Have good holidays, and thanks for coming. Yeah, and let us know what your favorite holiday memory is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what um, do you love about the holidays? Yeah, or what do you, how do you feel about having to lie to your kids about Santa? Yeah, are you okay with it? Mm-hmm. Or are you one of those parents that's like, nope, no such thing? Not gonna lie. Let us know. (laughs) We wanna know. (laughs) Have a Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye.